Thank you for coming, DOIC. We're concerned about the progress of your investigation into the activities of David Lance. I know that Lance is the man responsible for the leaks. Good, but can you prove it? I'm still assembling the final pieces of my evidence. But Lance has a partner, someone within the administration whom I need to identify. Any delay, and Lance will become aware he's under suspicion. I only need another couple of days. If there's anything that my department can do to help. I'm so nearly there. I can handle it. DOIC, the executive expects results, not excuses. You have 24 hours. No more. Of course, sir. I don't know it. Just get there. Oh. Uh, Beckett, I'm on the road. So, what are we now? 24 hour plumbers? When the director calls. Come on, it's just Jan. She likes seeing us jump. Alex! Come on, I said I was sorry about last night. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. I've got no idea. She just paged me. Hey, I hope this isn't going to become a regular thing. I suppose you need plenty of sleep to keep acting the fool like you do. Alex! Do I take it that your date last night was less than perfect? Don't ask. 
Jan, what's going on? Good morning. Beckett, isn't it? Who the heck are you? I'm the new Jan. Well, what's going on? What's happened to our Jan? I don't know. All I know is that I was woken up even earlier than you and told I'd been drafted. I'm now DOIC. What's your name? Call me Jan, of course. The code name goes with the job. When I first worked at the Bureau, Roland Blatty was the chief. He reported to a Jan and she was someone else. So, where exactly is our Jan? Is she ill? Has she been transferred or what? You know how these things work. We probably won't get to hear for ages. All I was told was that she'd been reassigned and that we must complete the project she was working on. This David Lance thing? We've got to wrap it up today, or all her efforts will be wasted. David Lance, department head at the Central Vetting Office. He's been a target for some time. Jan thought he was responsible for a steady leak of state secrets. So why haven't we heard about this before? Well, it was Jan's pet project. Some of the leaks have compromised our activities. That's why she got involved. I saw her only yesterday at the executive. She was very determined. So you want us to go and get this Lance bloke? We have to finish what she started. We have to present the evidence against Lance at the National Security Executive later today. Eight hours time. How? Jan deposited the evidence against Lance at the Data Storage Agency. Great. Let's call them up and get it sent over. No. We suspect Lance has an agent within the DSA itself. If we act openly, the agent could locate and destroy the file. Which is why I want you to steal it. You want us to break into a government building? <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Precisely. I know changes in management are unsettling, but I hope we can continue to do good work here. If you have problems of any kind, my door is always open. from the window. What do you and Lance hope to achieve by this? The executive know all about his activities. They'll be moving in on him before the end of the day. You've got something we want. It's not on you. It's not in here. We just have to tear your flat apart. The evidence against Lance is extremely well hidden. Data Storage Agency. What are you thinking? Well, I could get in there, move along there, straight up the service shaft, no trouble. You know what pride comes before? Alex, I don't boast I can do something if I can't, OK? Hey, you too. I'll get my kit together then. Alex, what did Ed do to upset you so much? What didn't he do? Chatted up the waitress, jammed with the band, told jokes to half the restaurant. It's like being out with the Marx Brothers, all of them. But what did he do to upset you so much? <sighs> oh, I don't know. If only he could just be himself, you know? Right, come on, let's go. I'll catch you up. Hello? But don't say any more, sir. I think we should meet. Mr. Tate's in Brussels all week. No, no, that's fine. Thank you very much. Alex? It's a Mr. Tate you want, OK? Are you both in position? Yeah, we're ready. Try and work as a team. Come on, we're a great team. You wish. I've got a package for Mr. Tate. He's away today, love. He won't get it till Monday. Oh, well, Monday's fine, thanks. All right. It's 
done. Okay, Ed. Pulse emitter on. Now. You sure these things are off? Just trust us, okay? I get the feeling Alex wants me to make a fool of myself. Ed, you don't need Alex's help for that. Tell King Rat to enter the sewer. In you go, Ed. he got? A few minutes, maybe. It depends how bright the guard is. Mm. Beckett? Look, where are you? I thought you were joining us. Sorry, Ros. I've had a phone call from Sir Anthony Fairchild. Don't tell me his daughter's gone missing again. No. He's trying to get hold of Jan. He can't seem to track her down. Really? But I thought they were close friends. Surely he should know where she is. Well, apparently not. I'm just on my way over there to see him now. But I'm sure this is all fascinating. In case you're interested, I think I'm in the East Corridor. OK, Ed, the data store you want is the third on the left, OK? C42. We got it, guys. This is it, and it's got Jan's official stamp on it. Great, that's the file on Lance. Get a copy. What's going on, Tel? Systems failure. Total. That's impossible. What's that? Tonight, some girl just left it for Mr. Tate. Good to see you again. Nice to see you too, sir. How's your daughter, Julia? Oh, bearing up. Now, she may not look it, but she's as tough as old boots underneath. Just like her godmother, eh? <laughs> OK, we're not on an open line now. And there are no bugs here. So what's going on? Where is Jan? No one knows. A new Jan has taken over at the Bureau, and we were told that our Jan had been reassigned to other duties. Well, nobody said anything to me about it. I was expecting to meet her tomorrow. It's our opera night. If she's gone away, I don't mind missing the caterwauling. I just want to know what's going on. To be honest with you, sir, I'm beginning to worry. I mean, I would pop around and see her, but I don't even know where she lives. I don't even know her name. That's kept secret. Well, I know her first name's Barbara. Julia let it slip at the wedding. But I don't know her surname. 
Do you think she might be in danger? It's possible. Right, I'll take you to a flat. What's this evidence look like anyway? We're not looking for evidence, Lugo. What we're after is a plastic key card. She had loads of credit cards in her handbag. Not like this one. This is a very special card. Quite literally, the key to a fortune. Ah, a safe. That's more like it. You never did tell me how you and uh, Barbara met. Who said I would? I don't suppose you have a key. I did once. I thought you lot didn't need keys. Oh, you should say that. So someone's been here before us. Look, uh, I'd hate a minister of the crown to be caught for breaking and entering. You don't have to do this, you know. I'm doing it for Barbara. Can't be good for your nerves doing this sort of thing all the time. Hello. Come on. Hey. Where's Barbara then, eh? Hey? You are, sir. Yes. Are you sure you're all right, sir? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Did you recognize them? One of them was David Lance, the man Jan's been trying to bring in for selling secrets. So he's making a preemptive strike, eh? Perhaps. Do you know what she kept in the safe? I have no idea. Maybe the evidence against Lance. That would explain why he was here. What about Jan? The story about it being reassigned sounds completely bogus. Yes. Which makes me doubt everything else this new Jan has told us. I was wondering when I'd see you again. I wanted you to be the first to know. I found what I was looking for. You kidnapped me for my bank card. Come on, don't treat me like an idiot. This is far more than a simple bank card, isn't it? So you weren't after the evidence. My days are numbered with or without your evidence. My partner and I decided this was a good time to get out, and we thought it would be nice if the Bureau provided our retirement fund. You'll need more than that card to access the Bureau's money. We need the numeric entry code on the second beta key card. Neither of which you have. Don't I? I think my partner has that under control. Let's see what we've got. All righty. Another successful mission. Oh, we aim to please. 
With that disk, we can make sure that Lance and any other traitors are exposed. Well, it's compressed data. I'm about to open it up. No. <laughs> Thanks. Just let me have the disk. But I can do it right now. I'd rather you didn't. What's the problem? Just hand it over. Please don't speak to us like that, or we might just pick up our stuff and walk out. I don't care what you do. I want the dick. Move. Hey. Is this a change in management style, Ross? If you just do as you were told, this wouldn't be necessary. Well, if we always just did what we were told to do, we wouldn't be here now. I think I know who Lance's partner is. Well, now she's got the evidence against him. Oh, if that's what it is. Oh, we do have a copy. I was working on the original. I thought you had to abort the copy. When security at the DSA got onto us, I managed to grab the original and the copy I was making. Now it's incomplete, Ooh. but. Well, I should still be able to make something of it. If anything's still working. Don't worry about me. Have another one. Well, where do you think I'm going to go? We're on the fifth floor.
Hey, guys. I think we've got an ID on our new Jan. So who is she? Elaine Harmon. Which explains how she managed to get herself made DOIC. As director of communications, she'd be a likely candidate. Mm. And she was perfectly placed to protect Lance. Borrowed some of your clothes. Hope you don't mind. I was getting a little fed up running around in my night things. Night things? I was kidnapped last night from my bed. By Lance? That's right. He and Elaine Harmon are planning to steal our money. The Bureau's operating cash. Haven't you worked it out yet? Well, I mean, we know Lance broke into your flat and took something, but... My alpha card. What else do you know? Well, that Elaine Harmon got us to steal something from the DSA. We thought it was the evidence against Lance. No, that's someone much more secure. What you stole from the DSA is a numeric entry code, part of the security system I need to access Bureau funds. With that and my Alpha card, I'm authorised to withdraw up to £10,000. But for any larger sums, you also need something else. The Beta Key card. And who has that? It's circulated around the Cabinet. Each minister holds it for about two weeks at a time. So how do you know where to get it? The answer to that lies on the disc you stole from the DSA. Ah. Oh. Beckett, most of the disk is corrupted, but there is a tiny fraction of real data there. Part of that will be the five-figure numeric entry code. The rest is the rotor of ministers who hold this beta key card. I'll need to decode it, but it shouldn't take me long. Well, we'll get back to me as soon as you have anything. Right. So we know we've got the entry code and my alpha card. As long as we keep their hands off the beta card, they can't do much damage. Harking back to your Navy days, eh, Beckett? Living on a boat? Not exactly. I always envied people who lived on boats. Yeah, well, don't. It's like living in a matchbox. Oh? Then why? Look, I'm just staying here because it's rent-free. I'm looking after it for a friend who's overseas. Still got financial worries, then? Yeah, well, who hasn't? Well, everybody except Ros, of course. There are much more important things than money. Happiness, friendship, family. Friends like Sir Anthony. He mentioned to me that he used to have a key for your flat. Did he now? Mm. Your cat seems to know him rather well. Well, not exactly dressed for Covent Garden, but beggars can't be choosers. You look a million dollars, Jen. Or should I say, um... Barbara. Director will do. Hello? Beckett, I've decoded the rotor. The person holding the beta card right now is Sir Anthony Fairchild. Tell me. Get over there as soon as possible. Make sure he and the card are safe. Yep, Ed and Alex are leaving right now. Jan? Nice to have you back. Good luck. To look after him. He's such an innocent when it comes to security. I keep telling him to take more care. Look, coming here is a mistake. We better go. This address is in my files. Which Elaine Harmon has access to. Exactly. <sighs>
will you, Sergeant? Don't answer that. Why ever not? What are you doing here? How did you get in? I need to speak to you. Well, let me answer the phone first. What's going on? We want the Bureau's beta card. That card's for authorised personnel only. This is our authorization. I thought a minister would have some kind of bodyguard. He did. Oh my God. They've got the card. You've got to stop them. Alex, look after Sir Anthony. Okay. Now we've gone to all this trouble. And they're only worried that we know when to sign your pledge. No, what I meant was. Yeah, it's all right, Beckett. I know you like to pretend you've got a heart of steam. Jan. We need to get some help. There's a special number I have. It gets instant response at the highest level. Central Arts. I'm in the field with Chief of Bureau 2. We're under attack. ID number? 670-Z-B10. Sorry, invalid number. Try again, please. 670-Z-B10. Invalid again. It is not invalid. I am DOIC, codenamed Jam. We need help, for God's sake. I can't verify your identity. I'm terminating the school. Jane! Erase all your idea and made you a non-person. Yes, I, I've been trying to tell you, Mr. Spring, Harmon and Lance are imposters, and when they show up at the bank today, you mustn't give them any cooperation. Uh, so they've got fake ID? <sighs> no, it's completely genuine. Then how do we tell they're not who they say they are? Because I'm telling you. But how do I know that you're who you claim to be? Mr. Spring, come on. I, you know, I'm trying to help you out here. I must have some kind of proof. Proof? You what? All right. Jan. Have you ever met Jan? I've met several Jans, sir. Exactly. Jan is a code name. The woman who's coming to your bank today, she reckons she's Jan, but she's not the real Jan. Even though she has the correct ID? Yes, that's right. Sir, if someone enters our bank with correct ID, knowing the secret numeric entry code and in possession of the alpha and beta key cards, I assume they're genuine. Whereas it's very easy for some hoaxer with no confirmed ID to phone up and play a practical joke on us. Mr. Sp he hung up on me. 
Roz, we've got a problem. The bank wouldn't believe us. We'd better get moving. I'll meet you there. He hung up on me. Is it normally women who do that to you? Is there any news of Jan? Don't worry, Sir Anthony. She'll be safe with Beckett. So you and Sir Anthony go to the opera a lot, do you? Now and then. It's just the way he said it. He made it sound like a regular thing. He pretends he doesn't like it, but it's all a front, really. Actually, we met at the opera. The Pearl Fishers, Sydney, 1973. And you two have been close ever since. It's no secret. He asked me to marry him once. But I had my career. 73. It must have been about the time Julia was born. We were still friends. That's why I'm her godmother. Godmother, eh? Not just mother. It's always a pleasure to meet a new Jan. If you'd like to come this way, we'll observe the formalities and arrange your cash. Don't shoot! Give me one good reason why not. Money. Whatever they're paying you to kill me, I can treble it. I have access to vast funds. All clean, untraceable money. Name your price, and I'll pay it. A million. Two. <laughs> <laughs> How about five million? Each. I can take you to the cash right away. All you have to do is to put down your weapons. You need any help, Beckett? Hey, I'm impressed. Once a field agent, always a field agent. <laughs> we better secure these two. Yeah. And let's hope the others are having as much luck with Lance and Harmon at the bank. Otherwise, the Bureau will be as broke as you. Swipe card and enter personal identification numbers. Yes, you can. Card identities confirmed. Verification code correct. Thank you. Well, the cash is ready. Mixed denominations, used notes, and no consecutive serial numbers, as usual. But, uh, sir, don't forget your security key. If you try to open it without using your key, the alarm is activated. Uh, yes, of course. Stay where you are, I'll shoot him. Get me out of here. Oh, we're in time to be playing. 
Big twister, though. You never did answer my question about Julia. No, she is not my daughter. I'd have liked a child, but uh, I kept Tony waiting, and while I was hesitating, he found someone else. Julia's mother? Yes, she was a colleague, one who was happy to give up her career. Sadly, she died a few years ago now. And where does that leave you and Sir Anthony? The moment's passed. Tony's got his political career, and... and I've got the Bureau. Do you know, setting up Bureau 2 has been the pinnacle of my career. The Bureau was your idea? Mm-hmm. After the cyber axe disaster wiped out Roland Blatty and the original Bureau of Weapons, I lobbied really hard for a replacement. And that's when you recruited us? I wanted the best possible team around me. You know, flattery usually means people want something. No. All I want now is a brandy and a bath. And I can manage both of those myself, thank you. Hello, old fellow. <laughs> oh, I'm waiting for your dinner, then, eh? Mm, lovely. Oh, no key. Well, I mean, right. Not necessary, but I always have a spare. And you were worried about Sir Anthony's security? I suppose we're two of a kind. Looks like the Bureau's back in business. I tell you, you never really appreciate someone like Jan until she's not there. I know you're not going to believe this, but I've kind of missed her. <laughs> You'll have to get used to that. What do you mean? What do you mean? Where are Jan and Beckett now? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't get the chance to clear up for you. They're at Jan's flat. Alex, look after these two. Look, if all you had in the safe was your key card and the disc at DSA was, well, something else, then where is the evidence against Lance? I'll show you. Where's Wagner? Wagner. The cat. The evidence against Lance is hidden in a microchip on his collar. Ah. Kitty. <coughs> Kitty. operational status. Harman did a lot of damage, but Ross says that 95% of the system is now back online. Good. A touch of paint wouldn't go amiss. Well, if there's money in the bank. I'll see what I can do. I'd better get back. Good luck. Thank you. I was wondering, maybe tonight we could give the opera a miss. Hmm? Yes, if you like. You don't have to stay, Tony. I can face the security executive without you holding my hand. Ah, the OIC. Excellent. Quite excellent. Would you like to tell her, Minister, or shall I? Be my guest. 
Elaine Harmon's departure has left a vacancy on the executive. The cabinet would like you to take her place. You want me to serve on the national security executive? Not before time, if you ask me. You knew about this? Well, you're not the only one who can keep a secret, you know. Well, I'll tell you what. It's a shame about the new Jen. I think I preferred her to the old one. Ed? She was a maniac, a killer, a traitor. Yeah, but at least you knew where she was coming from. I mean, our Jen, you know, you, you never know whether she's going to bark or bite. You really are impossible. Do you know that? What can I say? It's just the way I am. WYSIWYG. I beg your pardon? It's an acronym used in computing. What you see is what you get. WYSIWYG. There you go, you got me sussed. What you see is what you get. I like it. Hmm, question is, do I? You know, I always thought Jan and Fairchild were more than just friends. Why do you say something? Because if she'd wanted us to know, she would have said. Anyway, I think she's still in love with him. Oh, Roz. Well, is there anyone else in her life? Look, I hope you don't think... No. <laughs> but that's my point. She's lonely. She missed the boat with Fairchild and she's been regretting it ever since. Yeah. Well, I suppose you only get so many chances in life. If you don't take them, it's a long time to be unhappy. Yes, Beckett, it is. A long, long time.